This is Christian Lassen's style of art, uh -huh. and we're gonna use his paintings to bring in all these walls. I started my time right up here, 91, 92, on A facility. And back then, it was troublesome. You know, this is the marble that we have uh, created here. And I remember coming across this magazine, and it had a little tiny painting of uh, Thomas Kincaid. And I remember like looking at this painting in the picture and then wondering like, how the heck was he able to produce this beauty, you know, and, and, and it just started me on this journey of like, man, if I could ever paint like this, I would showcase it when I had the chance and the ability to do so, and that's what you see on our wall here. It was pretty easy, I think, because me and Rock talked about it a lot, and he showed me the paints, showed me what he could do, so I went into all the warehouses I could find. I took everything that I could find that wasn't in use or wasn't nailed down, and we brought it down and they started their painting. A lot of people, they don't really understand that they have a certain gift, right, that's there. Sometimes it's, it's, uh, it's what's on your mind yeah. and, and it, you know, your free spirit grabs a hold of you and you want to paint all day. And until you tap into it, you'll never know. It will get spread out and it will go through the whole place. And people will enjoy it and they'll remember that I'm a Bengal fan. This is something I was able to do in my cell or I never would have been able to paint because I believe that the industries that are in prisons, it touches everybody's family. And it might as well be in a good way and not a bad way. And some of these guys, if you see them from the start and you see them now and the confidence that they now display, you will see, you know, the change is what rehabilitation is all about. It's really pulled me out of a comfort zone that of pencil and pen to, to this medium, which is acrylic. It's neat to see the outlook at Pelican Bay from what it was to what it is now, um, being that it's not a hardcore institution anymore. It's now a softer, more manageable level two. Um, it, it's impressive. That change is, is, is yours and yours alone. You have to want it. If I can tell you about art and all this, but unless the band really wants it, wants to give himself that, that chance, it's here. And that's what we are. We want to be that vehicle and stuff to present that, that chance to any inmate, any inmate that's willing to, to, to try, because I'm a strong believer that if you believe, you can make it happen. You know, we wear a patch that says CDCR, and the R is rehabilitation. And if we can change the mindset of a criminal to a leader, a teacher, a mentor, then we should. And that's, that should be our goal. Safety and security of the public, staff, and inmate, but also to rehabilitate. It just makes me feel proud that they're doing something with their, their hands and their minds. And they're not just sitting there not doing anything. It's going to go through the state like rain fills up a bucket. <laughs> <laughs>